Hi, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to drain, flush, and fill your truck or car with antifreeze. In this video I'll show you the products I use. Uh, first off, why you want to drain your uh, coolant is it removes the rust and the sediment from the radiator. This allows your car not to overheat and just gunk up with all the stuff. So then you want to flush the system to clean the engine block and make sure you use the correct uh, antifreeze or you can use the universal one that I have right here. And then uh, after you flush, you want to fill it up with antifreeze and uh, distilled water. Uh, usually a 50-50 ratio. Alright, so let's get started. Some of the things you'll need, of course, is the Radiator Flush Plus Cleaner by Preston. Just need a bottle. And then of your favorite uh, antifreeze and coolant, now you just got right here. You can get it on Amazon, Costco, any auto store. And this is for all makes and models. I don't have to worry about color or... Uh, type of antifreeze so this is a safe one to use and here's some instructions not much really just uh, yeah drain flush and then fill and this is the tube for uh, usually F-150s and a lot of other vehicles you'll need this just so you won't make a mess and and this is the dump all your antifreeze right here just some buckets first off you want to take off your cap to release some pressure make sure your engine's nice and cool and first off, I'm pointing to the plug that you're going to have to turn. I know it's hard to see, but it's right down there. You'll see it's right below the radiator. Here's a little better angle. Just see right below the radiator, that plug right there. I'll point an arrow to it. And the little drain plug where you can connect your tubing to is right there on the bottom of the screen, middle. So right here, I'm going to point again to where the rubber tubing needs to go. Right there, right there. I'm sorry for the bad angle, but once you look under your radiator, you'll see it's either on the passenger side or on the driver's side. And it's usually on the corner of the radiator. So here's it draining. You can see it's pretty nasty, brown, gunky stuff. You probably want to change it every 100 to 125,000 miles, depending on the type of antifreeze you have. If you just bought your car, I recommend just probably changing it. All right, make sure you dump it in. You're going to be flushing a couple times here, so yeah, you're going to need a lot of containers to hold it. So after I drain it, of course I plug it back up, start the car for maybe uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Usually it's 10 minutes after it gets to operating temperature and some distilled water. And uh, yep, run your car for 20, 30 minutes. Maybe give it some nice revs, around two to 3,000 RPMs, no red line needed. And after your uh, fluid is clear enough, you're going to want to go back and uh, we'll get our antifreeze and our distilled water. And we'll fill our antifreeze up, 50-50 ratio. These are, this is a concentrated model, so you're going to have to put distilled water in it as well. And uh, to get the air bubbles out, start the engine, rev it up a little, and then fill up until you fill up to the cold fill line. And some distilled water. All right. If you have any questions, put a message below. But it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure you don't check.